All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. All right, who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you how about shim out shy all right and what we're going to get into today all right this afternoon <clears throat> according to how esau's kingdom you know it's a one-hit wonder okay esau edom's kingdom is a one-hit wonder and when you think about you know a one-hit wonder and pretty much you have in the music industry you know you'll have an artist you know come out and he'll have a real you know he all right or she'll have a real popular song or they you know a group and that song will be buzzing you know and you'll be looking for the follow-up but the follow-up never comes or is nowhere near you know as the first okay and esau's kingdom is a one-hit wonder there will be no follow-up all right of this rulership there will be no sequel Okay, there'll be no part two. Okay, or you have some people, you know, some artists, how they'll drop one good album, and then after that, they'll start fading, you know, to black. Okay, but well, this is Esau's one hit wonder within his rulership. Okay, from the Renaissance period until now, this is his one hit wonder. And one thing about one hit wonders, you usually forget about them completely. You know, until, you know, they're mentioned or you'll see an old clip of them. You know, you'll be like, oh, I forgot about that guy. Or I forgot about, you know, that person. And that's how Esau's kingdom is going to be. You know, because we have an eternal kingdom. And the eternal kingdom, it's going to be so much going on. We're going to be on such a high frequency and, you know, into, you know, really into the earth. We're going to be, you know, maneuvering on a whole nother level of wisdom that this little rain. All right, if Esau eat them, okay, is it, it, going to fade away. All right, that's why when you go to uh, Psalms 37 and 9, it says, For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yeah, thou shalt diligently consider, okay, his place, and it shall not be. It said, thou shalt diligently consider his place. And, and you know, like you, you know, because even with one hit wonders, you really got to think hard about them. Cause I'm sitting here thinking now, like, you know, if y'all can help me out, some one hit wonders that was big and then they just fade away. Like, like a Trinidad James. Uh, uh, who else had one hit and it pretty much, you know, went downhill from there. You know, you really can't think of them unless they just pop up. Unless you see, it's like an old an old song might come on, you know. But it's the only one I can think of now, like a Trinidad James. You know, you had that one song, go with everything. And now, it's like that nigga don't even exist anymore, man. You know, you had that uh, uh, uh Vanilla Ice. You know, I had to go way back. Okay. That was it. That one song. You know. And he stole that beat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, vanilla Ice. But who, who the hell knows Vanilla Ice, man? Okay. One hit wonder, man. Okay. Yeah, Fetty Wap. You know, these guys make one song and, you know, it'd be big, it'd be major, it'd be, you know, it'd be buzz, they'd be the talk of the industry. Then after that, the nigga fade to black, man. To the point where you diligently got to think about it and try to think of these niggas, man. You know, but there's plenty of one-hit wonders. Somebody probably look up on Google's, you know, biggest one-hit wonders and throw some up there. Just to prove the point. But this is how it's going to be in the kingdom, man. You you know, you gonna forget, we're going to forget about this man kingdom. As uh, the brother posted. All right. I know brother's lighting it up. Let's get some of these precepts on the coming board. This is a brother, Bayan Yasha Allah. This Obadiah 1 and 15, it said, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. 
that reward shall return upon thy own head. And who is the leader of these heathens? Esau, Edom. Okay, because Yahweh Shah is coming back to put all these heathens down. Okay, and mainly Esau, Edom. Okay, that day is near. Like what we're seeing, building up with the famines, the, the gas prices, and the shortages, and the war. This is the, the day of the Lord is, is coming upon these heathens, man. Okay, it said, For as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Continually, yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. Yeah, they're gonna swallow down captivity, they're gonna swallow down poverty. Okay, they're gonna swallow down hard labor and bondage. Okay, it says, and they shall be as though they had not been. Yeah, it says, they shall be as though they had not been. Okay, like you say, these one hit wonders, it's like they never had a hit. Okay. It's like they never, all right, had a hit. And I and I DJ, you know, well, Rich, yeah, Rich Homer Corn, he, he, he had a little side career, you know. Then I guess it depends on where you're from, too, with certain guys. I'm talking about, you know, uh, these major guys, you know. But it's like these guys really never had a career, you know. When you think about it, like they never had one, okay. Um. Let's go from there. Let me see. Get another one from the brother. Okay, this is the brother Yashima tribe of Judah. It said, Yet <clears throat> he shall perish forever like his own dung. <clears throat> they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Okay, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Okay, this kingdom is gonna be like a, a a a forgotten thought. This whole rulership, all these, you know, Esau likes to boast as if he's something great. Okay, as if you know his accomplishments and he's gone beyond, you know, mankind. He's tapping into immortality. He can get into the God gene. He's doing all these things as if you know he's just some type of elite. You know elite figure within existence but it's gonna come a time man this kingdom is just gonna be a forgotten thought man <laughs> you know let me see um let's say you might have to try to look some of these niggas up man but that's what it's gonna be and that's just the spirit you know you literally gotta look look these guys up man because they you know it's like a vision that fades away like a dream that because like when you wake up you know you can have a dream but once you wake up, you get you forget most of that dream, man. Okay, and imagine all the dreams that we have, that we have had. Okay, and imagine all the ones that we've forgotten. <laughs> you know. Let's see. If I can go back. Oh yeah, yeah, that boy, uh, the GS boy, the stanky leg. <laughs> Let's see if they got some stuff, man. I'm just looking up. I forgot about this song, Stanky Leg. I might just have to look up rappers, man. Oh yeah, rich boy. You know? <laughs> and just to show you that this is how Yahweh Bashima was shy, 
is comparing, you know, these uh the Esau's kingdom. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to diligently search. You know, you're gonna have to do a diligent search to even find, you know, someone who has a memory of this man's kingdom. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a diligent search, man. Okay, so basically, Esau's kingdom is likened to a uh, a one-hit wonder. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get some more precepts. Oh yeah, y'all remember J uh J Coin, you know, that song Tipsy. <laughs> you know. Uh their rapper Jibs. I think it chain hang low. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Yeah, bone crusher. Yep, cash out. They rap of memes. This is why I'm hot. <laughs> Craig Mac flavor in your ear. Young MC bust a move. That's a that song, uh, Tag Team, uh, Whoop, there it is. Yeah, man, it's all these old, uh, you know. And then Bone Crusher, he stole this song, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that Laffy Taffy. Okay, trash. <laughs> All right, you remember Kaya, my neck, my back. Okay, trash. The Cali Swag District, teach me how to dougie. You know, all the old, but you got to really diligently try to look for these guys because they're not a memory anymore, man. Okay. <laughs> well, that's going to be the complete opposite in our kingdom, man. We're always going to be the trend. We're going to be an eternal trend. You know? We're going to be an eternal trend, man. You know, that, that's, a, that's a whole nother topic. And I'm thinking about the you know, franchise boy. Yep. Yeah. Guy gone. <laughs> you know? But let me get back to the pre-sales, man. I just wanted to really... Cause you don't never think to do that. Like who who thinks to look up, you know, one hit hit wonders, okay? And that's how it's gonna be in, in the kingdom, man. You gonna you gonna shrug shrug his shoulders, okay? <laughs> the subject of Esau, America, okay? We we not gonna talk about that, okay? <laughs> All right. So when you go to uh, let's get this in Isaiah. And that's an, if a brother can put that in the comment board, it's going to be another lesson, man. Okay, our kingdom, will, will, it's going to, you know, Israel kingdom, all right, will forever trend. Okay, because we're going to trend eternally, man. And Esau just trending for a moment. We can see he's fade, he's fading away. And you can tell when that one hit one is starting to lose his buzz, you know, he, he starts off, he goes up peaks out, it plateaus, and then it starts to go down, and it will come back, <laughs> you know, and that's, that's what we're in Esau's kingdom, he's going down, okay, and he'll never, and he'll never come back, okay, we go to Isaiah, um, 65, all right, Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65 and 17 said, For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Okay? 
a new heavens, a new rulership, and a new earth, um, and a fresh earth. Okay? And it says, And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Okay? How many days had all those those those, those one hit wonders that I mentioned? How many days have, have have has this been since we even had a thought about them guys? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who would have thought to think of jibs? You know, if we didn't have this lesson, this topic today, we probably would have never thought of jibs again. Okay? <laughs> Chain hang low. We would have never thought about that. What's that nigga from St. Louis? Huey? You know, I think he got killed. Okay? Who would have never thought about that again, man? You know? And that's how it's going to be in Esau's king. Uh about Esau's kingdom, it's not even gonna come into mind, man. It's gonna get to a point, it's not gonna come into mind, especially when he's done away with. When he's done away with, okay, you know, and we're constantly thriving and prospering and doing new things, and Yahweh Shah steady putting us on new things, man. Okay, he's might not gonna come into mind, man. <laughs> okay, when you, uh, let's keep going. Let's go to Job 18. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 18, verse 5. It says, Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Yeah, that little star power, you know, because there's a one hit wonder, you know, once you, once you, it's like those one hit wonders, they get real big. You know, they become A-list celebrities quick, you know. But then it's like when that light go out, when that, you know, that um, that wave off that one song, once it fades, okay, it's like they go all the way back to darkness, man. Like they go all the way to black again, man. <laughs> okay. It's like they fade all the way back to black. You know, they be real bright. They be on, they get a, might, nigga might get a commercial. You know, nigga be at all the performances and, you know, the MTV awards and, you know, niggas everywhere. But then once that, once that wave, you know, from that song dies off, okay, them niggas light is put out. And this what's happening with Esau either. Okay. <laughs> this, this what's happening with Esau either, man. What Jay-Z told Nas, okay, <laughs> you had a little spark when you started. Now you just garbage, <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's your that's your boy, man. He had a spark during the Renaissance period. He had a few hits, okay. He had a, f a few bangers, you know. But then what happened, man? He starting he starting that wave that he's riding is starting to fade out, man. Okay. Then it's like that rapper that you thought was super hard, like Plies. See, we thought Plies was a serial killer, man. You know, when Plies first came out in the South, we thought that young nigga, that was a serial killer, man. Okay? <laughs> we, we thought this man was just, you know, knocking niggas loose out here, man. Okay? And then you find out, you know, this man was a, a, a nurse and went to college. And, you know, he's out here running and hiding from, from, from niggas, man. You be like, what? He lost his credibility. That's what it was like with Esau. You know, he had people fooled for a long time. Okay? But now his credibility is under attack. And he doesn't have that effect that he once had anymore, man. Okay? Because I remember Plies. It, it were times when Lil Wayne was at his peak. I say this for down here in the South. When Lil Wayne was at his peak and Plies was in his prime, you know, you had... Plies do a show in New Orleans, and there was more people at Plies show than there was at uh, Lil Wayne show. They had a show the same night, you know? But that's because everybody, man, we thought Plies was just this crazy goon, straight up, you know, the realest nigga that would do it, man. You know, the way he was talking. But that's how Esau Edom did. Deception. But then once that deception was broken, you know, now he just, what, a YouTube personality or something? You know, what, what What does that nigga do nowadays? Okay? But in his, in his prime, you know, that's why the scriptures say this. You know, especially dealing with America. <laughs> All 
I read verse 6 in Job 18 and 6. It said, The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him, man. Okay? So Esau's all right, star power is dwindling. Okay? He's going to go away with it. All right? <laughs> now let's go to... Uh, Yep, them trumpets, man. Esau done. Them lights finna get put out, man. Okay. Now, yeah, and that's a that's a that's a good precept the brother put out. It's uh the book of uh, Isaiah forty-seven and twelve. It's from the brother of War seven seven seven. It says, "Stand now with thine enchantments." Okay, because really, when someone is lying to you, you're enchanted because you're believing that that's actually them. And Esau put off as if he's the Most High, he was the Messiah, he's the prophet, he's the Pharaoh, he's Nebuchadnezzar, he's everybody. You think that this man just this great superior, all right, nigga in the earth, man. Okay, but he had people in China. You thought he was the, the superhero, the the, 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 the 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 moral excellent, okay, the the, the, the standard of, of, of morale, okay. He was an enchantment. And with the multitude of thy socials wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou mayst be able to profit if so be thou mayst prevail okay and what's happening those enchantments are getting weaker and weaker man you know and for the elect that the scriptures say there's no enchantment against jacob all right esau has no authority over the elect with these enchantments man okay and even people of this society they're waking up okay to his enchantments and now his credibility is falling off man and he's losing that star power man and that's why he's just finna get real carnal you know with his um <laughs> with, with with his uh with his policies man okay so let's go from there um uh, what's that another one? isaiah 14 All right, this is the book of um, Isaiah chapter 14. Okay, and this is, you know, as Esau is falling. Okay, as this man is, is falling. Okay, and in the kingdom, when that, when people see the estate and the conditions, okay, that Esau Edom is in, all right, this is going to be the response of the earth, man. All right, this is... um. Isaiah 14 and 10, it says, All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? You know, hey, because, you know, these one hit wonders, they have all this star power. You know, you see them on, you know, uh, you know, TV with other celebrities. You know, they in all these different inner circles. Okay. But then as they fall off, they go right back to being just a regular person, man. You know, you might see, okay, you, you, you know, you, you might see Chingy, you know, you know, y'all might be at the same hotel, man. <laughs> you know, you might see a nigga, you know, <laughs> he has the same little restaurant, you know, see a nigga at the grocery store pushing a buggy, okay, at the fresh market, you like, damn, you know, this, this guy, <laughs> okay, and it says, for thou hast said in thy heart, uh, not lucky. It says, Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worms spread under thee, and the worms over thee. Yeah, it's, it's corruptible society, man. You know, it's corruptible in every way. So it's like, uh, 
It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down from the ground, which did his weakens the nations? Okay? So like it real quick. Shit, man. Yeah, well, I'm down straight as fuck. Alright. Alright, so back to it. You're ready to close out. Isaiah 14 and uh, I'm going to jump. All right. It's 15. Well, I, I, I read through. It says, I will. It says, verse 13 says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. And that's what. You know, Esau, Edom, that's his intentions, all right, to be as a ruler, okay, in the earth, especially over Israel, man. You know, he thinks that he's just going to rule over the sons of God, the children of Yahweh Bashim al Shai eternally, man, okay, and rule these other heathens eternally, man, okay, rule these heathens, you know. So, like it says, and I will ascend above the heights. Of the clouds, I will be like the Most High. Okay, they they God like status, you know. Hey, because once you're famous, like when you get to a certain you know level, you're idolized in this society, you know. As far as you know, entertainer, athlete. So how much more Esau Edom that runs the earth? Okay, the one that puts on these entertainers and athletes. What type of God complex you think he has, man? It says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To the sides of the pit, they sh they that see thee shall nearly look upon thee and consider, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms?" <laughs> okay, because like I say, once you see going back to these one hit wonders, man, you see them as they peek out, man. You like, damn, you know, like people look at them as an icon, you know. But then when they fall off, and then you see them just back in this regular form, you know, like that nigga Young Jock, you know, he had a few little hits. You know, but just how he had that career and then he fell off to where he is now. I think they seen him driving an Uber. You know, nigga was driving Uber and everything, man. Okay? But he was on all the videos. Let me buy you a train. Okay? Now it's let me give you a ride. Okay? He's like, damn. <laughs> That's how it's going to be for Esau, man. It's going to be an ultimate fall off, man. So, Lord will, you brothers and you few sisters were edified. You know, just wanted to bring that out, you know, make that comparison, man, you know, to bring light to the scriptures, man, that Esau's kingdom is a one hit, hit wonder. And right now it seems like everything, and you know, as if he's just this some bigger than life, grandiose, you know, empire. Okay. But what we got coming, okay, it's going to pretty much erase the memory <laughs> of this man and this rulership, man. Okay. So Lord will, you know, you was edified to the next time I say Shalom. Quam Yash Allah Baba Baba DTA soon.